In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a rational function constant over linear. Our function here, f of x, has the constant negative 5 in the numerator. x plus 1 is the linear denominator. And we're told that we should start by drawing the vertical and horizontal asymptotes and then to plot two points on each piece of the graph. So I'll start by looking for a vertical asymptote. First, we need to confirm that it is simplified as much as possible. Since there's nothing in the numerator that can cancel with the denominator, then the expression is in its simplest form. And then our vertical asymptote will be where the denominator equals 0. So our denominator is x plus 1. And if I set x plus 1 equal to 0, to solve for x, we would subtract the 1 over and have x equals negative 1. Our vertical asymptote occurs where x equals negative 1. We can then move to horizontal asymptotes. And for horizontal asymptotes, we recall that we first look at the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. So in the degree of the numerator, since this is a constant, the numerator has a degree 0. And m for the denominator, we have a single x, so that is degree 1. So our n is smaller than m, meaning our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. y equals 0 is on top of the x-axis. At this point, we found both the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. We're next told to plot two points on each piece of the graph. So here I'll make a small table starting to the left of the vertical asymptote. I can plug in negative 2 and substituting into our function we would have negative 5 over negative 2 plus 1. That's negative 5 over negative 1 which simplifies to 5. So we have the point negative 2, 5. I'll plot that on our graph. And then another value to the left of that vertical asymptote could be x equals negative 3. Substituting in a negative 3 gives us negative 5 over negative 3 plus 1, or negative 5 over negative 2, which is a positive 2.5. So plotting that, negative 3, positive 2.5. We've got two points here, and since I know it's approaching these two asymptotes in that corner, I can connect these and have them moving towards the asymptotes to be a good approximation of the shape of the graph. And then I can move to the right-hand side of that vertical asymptote. So x equals 0 is going to be on the right-hand side. Substituting in the 0 for x gives me a negative 5 over 1, or negative 5. So 0, negative 5 would be here, substituting one more value to the right of the vertical asymptote. I could substitute 1. Replacing x with 1 gives me a negative 5 over 2, or a negative 2.5. So plotting the point 1, negative 2.5 would be here. As before, connecting these and having the line moving towards the asymptotes without crossing would give us this shape. So we have graphed both the asymptotes and used a couple of points on both sides to graph the line. 